It's like, uh, sometimes you need to, uh, make, like, like, terms to describe, like, a whole section of, uh, discussion. Like, when they say, woo, W-O-O, that, that means, like, those topics that's, like, most people are afraid to even talk about, like, wh the same reason why people, uh, that got abducted by aliens would never tell anyone is because they're afraid of, uh, being looked at funny, like, oh, you're crazy, man, uh, no one gets abducted by aliens, that's never happened to no one before, has it now, uh, did, it, I mean, I think it even says something like, Elijah went into the sky in a whirlwind, I mean, or Enoch flew off into the sky, uh, the, the, it does happen, sorry to, uh, to break it to you, but people do fly off into the sky, uh, according to ancient documents, uh, but, uh, chem is, is the terminology I want to discuss here, chem, if you talk about chem, just C-H-E-M, you could be talking about nanoparticuli, you could be talking about fluoride, you could be talking about the flint, lead in the water, or the, uh, Virginia, flaming tap water, or the cistern in Ohio, or the blue gold horde, or fracking, or, uh, GMO, or, uh, fluoride, intentional fluoride poisoning in the water that causes brain damage, slowed thought, uh, docileness, uh, and lead causes amnesia-like symptoms. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't hard to figure out that uh, this is leaning towards metal poisoning uh, abroad. I mean, in a way, fluoride, this sodium fluoride corrosive material, in a way, it eats away at the pipes that deliver. It's delivering to you, so there's a chemical reaction going on where it's extracting more metal from the pipes and injecting it into your kidneys, into your liver, and into your brain. You know what I'm saying, unfortunately, and into your bone marrow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you wonder why there's all this rheumatoid arthritis and stuff like this. It's because of fluoride in the water, assholes, and uh, lead or heavy metal poisonings like barium and aluminum. Uh, you can go look all that up, and that's that's substantiated. Uh, all that information there, so. Uh, don't believe nothing I say. Go ahead and do your own research. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm uh, I'm 230% confident that uh, you will come to a similar conclusion if you truly research into it with the unbiased mind, without ha with never swore a brotherhood oath, and you research this stuff uh, unbiasedly. That's what you're gonna say. And if you don't, it's like either you're ignorant or you're covering. Uh, there is no in-between in these situations here. There's one or the other. We can rightfully divide. Uh, you're ignorant or you're covering. You know what I'm saying? And that's not hard to figure out, really. If you just do a little bit of, uh, just play around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's that called? Picking someone's brain. Pick, pick someone's brain from afar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not that hard. Just see if there's a ulterior motive. Or if it's genuine sincerity that they want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, alert you to the danger. Or are they alerting to the danger so they can be capped and save them and come in and sell you something to protect you from these things they're doing to you. You got to look. I mean, some of these people who do, in a way, they do provide a good service. But at the same time, in a way, they're profiteering, the war profiteering, the chem war. They're making money. Because they know the chem goes war is going on, so in a way they're ready and available to supply you with the things. That's the same thing they do in uh, spycraft and warcraft. Uh, the real arms dealers sell to both sides. They'll sell you this secret cloaking technology and leak and sell the, the cloaking anti uh, uh, visibility radar technology. They'll send that. They'll sell that to the other side. I mean. You always got to think of it that way. What what about a third party who can sell to both sides of this war, this propaganda war, this drug war, this war on poverty, this war on terror, terror, terror? 
uh, you know what I'm saying? These wars and rumors of wars. I mean, think about that. A rumor of war. A rumor of war doesn't necessarily mean there's even a real war. But yet, if you spread that rumor, the terror still exists, even if the war is real or not. You know what I'm saying? You just got to think about these things, man. And uh, uh, don't get whipped up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, don't get put to sleep. Uh, you, you just gotta be, uh, just take things in, man, uh, and you, you gotta be, you gotta look at it, it's just little by little, man, uh, and line upon line, so, I mean, same thing with this understanding the cam attack, uh, I mean, and this was broadcasted as well in the Batman movies, Joker 1, where it was Keith, uh, wait, what's that dude's name, uh, Michael Keaton, uh, it was the Joker in the, you mix shaving cream with mouthwash, and it gives a Joker face. Or in the newer one where it was Scarecrow, and he put hallucinogens in the water to uh, uh, wreak ha havoc and chaos on Gotham. Uh, and then you see flaming tap water. Uh, Colorado, they spilt coal in the river, Colorado River. They uh, cistern in Ohio. In uh, Lake Michigan, coal, Cinemax in the Gulf, uh, Fukushima in the radiation leak. I mean, come on, this stuff is, at this point, it's intentional. Uh, so, just, yeah, so when you say chem, chem could refer to a lot of things because the chemtrails they're spraying in the sky are killing the trees down here. And the reason why my voice has been raspy and hoarse lately is because, I mean, as I'm filming these chemtrails and these cambos and these sun dogs and uh, all this other junk, uh, it's killing me. It's, it's just like the people who documented 9-11 uh, all have cancer now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I mean, it, there's, there's something to this, man, uh, more than what... You're not going to find it mainstream. And even out here in the people who will fringe and will uh, talk about alien abductions, black-eyed children, MK Ultra, uh, secret societies, Illuminati, uh, blood rituals, blood sacrifice, us people who, you know, will, will face the ridicule to expose these subjects that there's validity, validity to them, that it's not just... Uh, just paranoia, man, and, uh, uh, what is that called, man, exaggeration, man, and, uh, hyping, hyping, I mean, there is hype behind it, but it's still a real thing, sometimes they hide real things behind the hype, they hype it up to the point where it's like, ah, that's gotta be hype, but that's the thing, they hyped it up to the point where they, they can hide it now, to where you're like, no, nah, that's just woo, 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 you know what I'm saying, that's just chem. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's just, uh, it's like Monsatan, or a.k.a. Monsanto. The same company, Dow Chemical, is, is connected in with it, and Halliburton, and Cinemax, and all this nasty shizzle, and the, uh, uh, nuclear, uh, General Electric, uh, by, uh, uh, weapons-grade nuclear, uh, materials department, that they're linked like this, revolving door. Uh, that poison us, dude. Uh, and people are oblivious to this chem that's going on right around them and how chem your life really is, man. And you just don't, you're unaware that, uh, you're, you're under attack. The, the chemicals are already in your brain. They're already in your bloodstream. Your mind is already fogged down. I mean, you can resist it by knowing that you're under attack. So therefore you can even try harder to get information. And drill it into your mind because, yes, you are under attack. And your memory is being wiped chemically and academically. Because the, the, the reason I see they always say, go to school. Well, look at all these people who went to school and our master's degree, Ph.D., and all these things that they, they society gives you a, a pecker, a uh, pecker pecking uh, about. These people don't discuss none of the real topics, so that can't be the answer. Education is not the answer. This false education is part of 
the problem because it's not education. It's called indoctrination. You know what I'm saying? And you, the, the people are like, we won't respect your opinion until you're indoctrinated as we are. And that proves that you got the, the documentation to that enforces the programming. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm serious. That's the really way they act. Uh, when academia is the problem for this, this lack of the uh, people perish for a lack of knowledge. We got we got colleges. We got all that. Smarts is in the land, isn't it? Then why are people still perishing for a lack of knowledge if that's the answer? Because I mean it's you gotta you gotta have non affiliate, private, uh mercenary type people who say, Look, I'm gonna study this because I just want to. There's no one paying me. My will, my want to expose it is what it took for someone to look into it and start speaking on it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the reason. It was like uh, the reason why like ninjas existed to some extent was the police were corrupt. No one did justice. So if a, if a village would pay one guy, they would each pitch in a penny, pay this guy, and he would go take, he would go take out the guilty people or person who are is oppressing the people. And that's the only way justice could be done. But I mean... Sometimes people might just offer their services for free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's kind of what we need. We need people to be judges out here. And all right, these these official mucky muck fools aren't really bringing us no disclosure. They're they're really just uh, muddying up, mucking up the waters more. So look, we need independent, private investigator types to give a fresh eye to all these conspiratorial looking matters like like did they do it intentionally was the flaming tap water intentional is the cistern intentional is the colorado uh coal coal uh pollution intentional is fracking intentional was the gulf oil spill intentional and that is almost provable that yes it was and was fukushima done by the global government with the harp quake uh because J Japan uh, disagreed with their foreign policy. This is uh, things you need to look into. You don't know, listen. We need private judge type people. Not This isn't to come in to condemn and kill and or nothing. This is someone to come in and lay the matter out presentable. Uh, that's unbiased. That is uh, untainted by... The people who are committing the crimes are the people appointed to oversee the people who look at the crime scene. Like 9-11, like my mom has been telling me, she's been uh, taking these classes about forensics and CSI and all this. And it's basically in college, they're showing how it's all a fraud. It's all been a sham all along. Like it's not conclusive. It's, it's, it's been used in a way against the people to make it look all mystical and all you need these doctors and these psychologists and all this science stuff to to say yay or nay but it's all been a it, they've cleverly magicianed you by making you think that these things like there's credibility behind them but there really is not now it's all being proven uh look fingerprints dna all this stuff is flawed it's not conclusive it's not a hundred percent they're finding out it's so the csi that they show you on tv through usa uh and other uh what it, what is that man uh ted turner network tnt they show you these shows about uh these these propaganda uh shows about like of CSI, like they they make it look like they had this godlike ability where they know everything about everything just from a scrap of details that they get off the floor and they type into the computer machine. Uh, you know, uh, they can tell your whole life story, but that's bullshit. This is another Big Brother's watching. Let Big Brother take care of it. Don't think. Let Big Brother think for you. You just keep working. You're not smart enough. You're only smart enough. You're only good enough to keep working and paying taxes and supporting uh, and cheering for your team. Uh, go back to work like the house Negroes of that uh, Malcolm X talked about. Hey, keep on working. Hey, y'all don't want to be alone now. Y'all don't want to be on your own. You want to know how to make it here, man. You got food. You got protection. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just gotta think. This is the gatekeepers. 